Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Uh, let's get on to today's topic. Today's topic is faction list, faction tier list. So if you are interested in seeing a top tier list for characters uh, I'll be having that come out here in a few days uh, but right now let's talk about faction tier list now I'm gonna just get to the chase uh, really quick on this best factions I'm just gonna give you my list right up front goblins are number one pride is number two uh, followed by humans um, then probably orcs elves and pandas so that is basically the order uh, and I want to go ahead and take them in turn and explain to you why I think that these are the way to go once again goblins pride or orcs humans elves and pandas uh, for factions now some people are gonna say whoa, 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 whoa slow down what about elves and how good they Lana is they are they are quite good um, the fact is is that you know we'll get into we'll get into the reasons why I've listed them in this order primarily when you're looking at factions I want to look at synergy uh, and how good the synergy is between the characters and really to be perfectly honest with you uh, the synergy is fantastic between the goblins the goblins are just amazing uh, they beat just about everything except for slinger uh, to be perfectly honest with you and when it comes to arena um, when it comes to um, when it comes to hard mode, in fact, I have recently completed hard mode, uh, tower, uh, and now I can auto it as you can see right here. Um, and I did that primarily with my goblins, uh, goblins made it so much easier to get through. Um, obviously when we're looking at goblins, you're going to need general Murdoch, Dr. Frank, instructor Gorham, major shot and Adam. That is the primary team, uh, for goblins. In my opinion, that's the team I've used now for several months. Absolutely fantastic team. Great, great overall synergy. Gorham and Adam really make this team go, um, along with general Murdoch. And then Frank, of course, with his healing of his shields, um, just absolutely fantastic. 350% of magic damage to shields of all allies. Oof, love myself some Dr. Frank. And then, of course, Major Shot. Some would say, why Major Shot instead of, you know, oh, Major Shot, primarily it's here. Blindness, all right, inflicts hill, abil blindness for one turn and ability block for two turns. I mean, it basically just gives your team, entire team, you know, a full turn, and he doesn't miss it a lot, um, and it really stifles others. So... And that's uh, that's why I say uh, that now if we go over to pride my number two team uh, and I may have already or may have already said that I thought maybe humans or elves they're kind of interchangeable and we'll talk about that in a second uh, but pride the reason why I put pride here is like they how they have two healers Roxy and Renara um, but Primarily because I put them in here as number two because of Hera's lead with Salvador. Um, you're looking at just an amazing, um, 20% cre increase to dodge, all right, for all the characters. They do so well. They, they're they going to be a great defensive team in Battlegrounds, and the new Battlegrounds. They already are a good defensive team. Um, but they just have synergy across the board, especially with being able to, um, you know, turn away uh attacks with dodge and then of course you know she can put people under stealth um and then the biggest one of course is salvador's taunt and right in the beginning right so he gains taunt right in the beginning of the turn and i believe that's because of hera right um let's see where is it All right pride fighters and tacticians right all pride defenders gain taunt for two turns all right so that just in and of itself is really really nice so salvador gets a, ta a taunt right off the bat and then of course if you add renara renara of course can you know res people now you in this faction of course you have kagi and bori that do boris that do really really well together um their synergies are fantastic and then of course 
Revel really doesn't play much of a factor in this in this team. Uh, the team I generally put together um, when I'm playing um, them is Hera, Bori, uh, Kagi, Salvador, and Roxy. Um, very very good and then you have Yogi and Bori and the Trickster uh, I haven't really messed around with them a whole lot uh, but they, they do pretty well but the team that I usually put together Hera, Bori, Kagi, Salvador and Roxy you can interchange or if you don't have Roxy yet um, all the way up you probably do have Renara uh, and so you could throw Renara in there and she does just great as well all right so I've, I know I've already said humans and elves um, or elves in humans. I It's hard for me to pick um, between the two, um, between the two. But I think that, you know, for the sake of argument, I think the elves are probably just a little bit better than the humans right now. Um, and this is the team that I would be talking about here. Um, uh Thelana and Night El Wonder Luda, Count Delman and Kelrian. Obviously no healer. Um, as we all know, Night El tends to drop out of this team, and then you need to put Sharp or uh, Alaria in. Uh, usually I just put Alaria in, but Felia is pretty good. Sinjel's kind of crap. Um, but the, what makes this team, of course, go is the leadership ability. All right, increases crit chance from all allies, uh, all L elf allies by 30%, recovers 15% turn meter upon landing a critical hit, and 50% chance to restore one turn to a random ability. We all have seen her do some crazy, crazy things. All right, um, I've had her blade fury on second turn and then blade fury again on on the third turn um and getting just maximum and then blade fury again um and back to back to back turns very rare does that happen but it has happened which makes her absolutely nuts and then of course you know she has her um uh, increased damage uh dealing damage increase increases potency right it's pretty awesome. Dealing damage increases her potency and it can stack up to 14 times, right? 1.2%. So it's pretty good. Uh, so 4. Point, uh, you know, 8% there. Pretty, pretty awesome. Um, great, great, great leadership. Um, obviously, when you're looking at, say, Count Delman, you know, his mark of death, I really wish he could avoid taunt. That would be awesome. That would make him a top tier character for sure but he's not because of it wonder lula amazing speed she's really kind of come to the forefront again she just got recently reworked she's amazing looking um was one of my favorite characters in the beginning of the game but now she's just you know fantastic um giving her a ton of speed uh and then she can just really hit hard um as we all know Night El, of course, is amazing. Now, we're, like I said, we're talking about just factions. We all know that Night El gets pulled out of this team to be put in a, in a you know, in more of a human team. Uh, you know, she gets put in with humans oftentimes because of her synergies with, uh, with Solius. So, but if you were just to play them, this would be the team that I would play. Now let's get on to humans. Humans would be the next one, the fourth faction, uh, fourth best faction in the game. Once again, um, you have great synergies here. Um, and and I think this is probably the right place to put them, to be perfectly honest with you, because you're missing out on some of the great synergies because you don't have another mage in this group. If you had another mage human, that would be awesome but we don't um and so if you were to run a team here a lot of times if you run a, a team you'd be running soleus lead Breezard, eric's a shield breaker uh little batty and snorri um or you could do it that way or you could run you know soleus cruel um Freezard, little batty and eric shield breaker um there's another way of running it and it works pretty well you just have to have her copy a mage um, as soon as she can and to get that mage synergy but this is part of the reason why we bring Nightiel in um, and then we usually drop Eric Shieldbreaker so you're looking at Solius, Cruel, uh, Freeze, our little baddie and Nightiel 
but that's why these these factions they get they get broken up um you have selena who's actually a pretty good character uh for the most part she does pretty well with her heals um you know 400 percent of her magic damage is no no joke um when healing um and of course she has two heals right 280 percent and then an extra 20 percent of her max health um so she's got some good healing the only thing I don't like about her is her copying random buffs from the enemy because she will copy taunt. <laughs> um, if she, when she copies taunt uh, onto herself, then she just gets slaughtered. But female Harry Potter is pretty fun. So that's why they're number four. Uh, let's click over to orcs now. We all know the importance of orcs. Um, but the issue with orcs is that none of them really work together. Um, they're not really put together except for in the beginning of the game. When you're leveling up, you want to get Soleus as soon as possible. So what do you do? You level up your orcs. The problem is that once you get towards the end game, you're not using any of these characters with themselves. You're not using them with orcs. So even if you were looking at your... Uh, your original team, Rantha, uh, Rantham, Trumgar, Mortham, Mar, and Corkum, right? That's a fine team. The problem is, is that your best characters, Trumgar, Hardork, Zara, and Mordoom are all used in different, uh, different characters, different places. And so, um, Hardork's usually used in a Zara team with, Zor with Snorri and Revel. Um, and more doom is used with demons, uh, which we haven't really talked about the demon faction yet. Uh, and that's, we'll, we'll talk about them in a second. I haven't left them. I've left them out, um, here in a moment. We're going to talk about them in just a moment and why I've put them down so far on the list. Um, and I'll explain that here in a moment, but, and so when you're talking about factions, the, they're, they're just super important, um, the orcs are. And so you're looking at Rantham, Mortham, Mar, and Corcoran, and Trumgar. Not, not the greatest team. Dieselrog doesn't really work in this team. He works more with goblins, but you're not going to use him in a goblin team um, because the goblins' synergy is so good, as we heard earlier. So, um, like I said, Mordoom's used with demons generally, and so he's he's not really helpful for this team. Um, you can put Zara on here at Hard Orc, but they're great characters to lead themselves. Um, you know, Hard Orc, of course, is just a great plug and play character all around, and Zara, he she can do amazing things versus humans. So that's why they end up fifth on the list. Uh, let's go down to demons now. And here's here's what we're looking at for demons. We do have one of the best leads in the game for demons, uh, but it's also one of the best just overall leads in the game uh, because it recovers turn meter, gives turn meter to teams. Uh, we do have buff coming uh, to the game, and this may change um, how you know how I feel about demons at the present moment. Uh, they have one of the best healers in the game, uh, in Xantara, but she's slowly becoming less and less viable, um, simply because she, you know, she is a demon, she looks great, but, you know, she's got all heals all the time, but she just doesn't do enough healing, um, you know, 500% of her magic damage, which isn't bad, but she's got to sacrifice her health, right, 300% of magic damage, so, you know, she does well, um, they have a great great uh great tank um and, but they're gonna have three leaderships um and if you really look at it this would be the team that you'd run but you don't run this team and that's kind of why they drop down as a faction themselves they need more doom um to run and what you're finding is that they're slowly dropping out of the meta uh as thelana is coming up but even thelana is not being used with her with her faction she's being used um very similar to uh you know how we how we did slinger um and so that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at there she's just being put in the main role because she's just amazing when she has her leadership and not so great when she doesn't there is a lot of good synergies here 
um, between Venom 8 and Kara if you're new players. Um, that's definitely the way to go. Mega Wheel's really just not a good tank. Kiri's fantastic. So you have a lot of good characters, but they're not really used together. And that's part of the reason why they fall on the list. Um, they fall so far down on the list because they don't really um, have a whole lot of synergy together. They're not being used together. And that's why they fall down on the list. Last but not least, okay, maybe they are least, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, but last and least are the pandas. Um, as you can see, I've been working on my pandas, uh, trying to get them up um, and do a lot of more play testing with them and working with them. We are on, this is my main account, by the way. This is not uh, my test account. I don't know if I said that or not, but this is my main account. Um, I am looking at. I'm almost done with Ren, Ren the Unseen as the last I was able to, you know, do quite well with the with my pandas um, in the, you know, getting, you know, Renara and that sort of stuff. But I couldn't get through I couldn't get through the main that the the ammo's armor or whatever it was that that pretty hard event i got through the second one um the first one but i couldn't get through the second or the third they were too difficult for me i started leveling up Rin the unseen and it actually got her to gear 10 the day after the event was over but the reason why i think they're least is that you have multiple leaderships here you have uh, patriarch cheese leadership you have lakes leadership um you have Ken Lee. I just noticed that Lake is missing. It's like he's missing a speed rune here. Let's see if I can find him one. Well, I don't think he needs potency, but. Beat him back up. So. His leadership's not too bad. Um, all allies gain a thousand penetration each time a ally counterattacks. He recovers uh, one hundred percent of his health. Um, I don't even know why that that last one's on there because there aren't a whole lot of abilities to counterattack. Um, they don't just gain counterattack. Um, she does gains counterattack and damage increase. And recovers 50 percent turn meter um and that same mechanic master duo has that same mechanic with recovering counter attack as well but nobody else does um and so i'm not terribly sure uh you know what the point is of these character of these characters leadership here I'll, he gains 30 percent max health um and so that's that's kind of that's kind of nuts there but once again it's still not great they just they have nothing that really just sends them over the top um and then when they're put up against other teams they just tend to not do particularly well even when they're geared out even when they have other things going on so um that is where we're currently at sorry about the phone ringing there but that is where we're at on the uh on the factions video once again, let's go through the faction list one more last time, right? Demons are your number one faction in the game, Pride. Um, and then after that, Elves, Humans, Orcs, uh, Demons, and then Pandas. Um, let me know if you think I got this wrong. Uh, drop a comment down below. Hit the like button if you like it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.